perfect okay it doesn't change back anyhow uh, we'll, we'll 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 come back to that later but uh, yeah so it's 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 changing its value here so that's the important part and let's create a section here one it has created one section here and let's create another section as section number two it's creating another section perfect so we just we just clicked on the create section while it was blank and it created a blank section here so yeah we're going to remove from the database app data in the all section and this one should be deleted perfect okay so let's come back here and uh, so now we're going to add a task here so for the task we're going to get a uh, checkbox this one to so it's so this is searching for task with a with the correct value and this one should be the current cell task name yeah it should do and we are going to add two more things here one is um, assigned to and another is due date so and even to add task we are going to add one more thing in bit below this thing is uh, add an input box here just below the task name and add a button here so, yeah. so we're going to say okay uh, task name. this one should be create task so we are going to start a workflow to create a task on click on this button so we are saying okay create a new thing create it as task and the task name should be input enter task names value and we are going to capture two more things one is the pro uh, task project which should be the list views selected project second should be task section which should be the current cell section and third one should be task workspace which is the current page workspace so yeah we all set to done perfect design now now we're going to add two more things here uh, one is the uh, list of user so assigned to so we're going to have list of user who are part of this workspace and second would be to select a due date so what we're going to do is we're going to have a drop down to have the list of user inside this uh, workspace and so we're going to have a dynamic choice choose the option select same type of is user we're going to uh, do a search for current page workspace users and it should be the current options of username yeah perfect and second would be the date time picker so we are just going to width and height should be 50 and let's give maybe yeah so I hate this when this happened Okay, it's even behind this one. There should be a date and I'm going to auto bind it. Uh, we are also going to auto bind this to the task user so while uh, enabling auto bind we also need to make so we are, we are auto binding so whenever you select this value it will automatically adjust the value in the task type so 
you're going to say fail to modify his task assigned because that's the set of zero. But you will notice one thing here that when uh, the moment we enable the auto binding, there it's asked you want to you want this input to modify a thing or type, and we need to change it in the privacy uh, rule. So uh, one thing to uh, notice here whenever you are auto binding anything you have to def you have to define it in the data privacy setting that i sh the user should be able to modify certain things through auto binding so we are going to say okay uh, we are going to auto bind the task thing so we are going to define a new rule you can name it anything so we're going to name it task for now and we're going to say okay whenever the current user is logged in let them auto bind to task assignee and since we are going to also going to auto bind the due date, so I'm also going to change it the due date. And third is the done status. So whenever you click on the tick mark, it should complete the status. So since we are going to anyhow change that, uh, going to uh, change it to auto bind. So I'm just doing it right now. So let's just do it here. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And come back here and now we're going to say okay whenever you uh, change change its value it should change it should modify the field of task assigning similarly in this one we're going to say okay change uh, whenever I'm selecting a date uh, auto bind this to to task due date and the minimum date should be current uh, current date maybe where is it yeah current date and time it should not be lower than the current date and time perfect it should be done and uh, third thing we are going to change is uh, whenever user tick mark it it should be yes or no so whenever it's blank it's empty it should be no which we are also anyhow giving it as by default whenever you create a task it's it's done status is no and whenever you click on it tick tick mark it it should be completed at completed and change its value to yes so we're going to say okay auto bind this thing and fill to modify is task done status uh, just one more thing I'm going to add here is the icon. So I'm just going to create a delete icon here. Stating remove. So I'm going to use it multiple at multiple places. One is after this thing. So one is after section name. I should be able to delete this. Yeah, and one is after the task name so i should be able to delete the task perfect and also let's add one here in the section name i should be able to delete the project as well we can also do it for workspace but let's not do it right now so uh, three three things i'm going to uh, start now one is whenever you click on this delete it uh, delete the current cell value so when we click delete thing current cell project perfect in this one you're going to say whenever you click on this start a thing delete a thing and this should be the current current cell section and whenever you click on the task delete button it should current delete the current task sorry not anything delete a thing current cell task perfect so yeah i guess this is pretty much it we are we have like you no know, uh, we can create a section we can create a task and we can delete a task we can complete it complete the task we can assign it to it perfect let's just preview it i'm going to remove it now let's just preview it so let's go to browse workspace click on workspace number one I'm going to select marketing. Marketing is here, and there are two things. Okay, so I'm just going to create task one. Perfect, we have task number one here. Task number two. Okay, it has created inside it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is go to the full list. Let's just preview it now. It should show me the like you no know, complete list of instead of putting a scroll into that into the tiny area, it's going to 
uh, it's going to stretch its height as the number of task adds up into it yeah so now you can see both the things without uh, adding a scroll into this to create one more thing task number three perfect it's now added so now we can assign it to either like test which is current logged in and we can also give it a date All right and we are also going to mark it complete complete we can also delete this section delete this thing delete this task maybe create another task okay so i'm also going to like you know change it series set to going to add another thing in, inside this task uh, create task workflow is to reset this input value so uh, let's just click on it create another task and reset input perfect and also okay. but you also notice that that we have assigned some like you know uh, user as a signee and given a due date and mark the task complete so let's see them if they have updated in the task database so in the task database all task we have uh, okay so we have this i'm going to delete so we have two tasks right now uh, task name is task number one two and both are done both have due dates both have assignee and also i'm going to change and um, let's create another task task number three the input value is also reset and inside this thing we should have another task as task task number three the duty is not defined but the current it is no and the task assign is still new. so perfect we currently have we are able to create workspaces we are able to create projects inside them and we are able to create sections and task inside them so yeah this is it so let's also uh, add one more thing in the browse workspace so that you can invite your members here to join the workspace so what we're going to do is we're going to go to workspaces and you're going to say okay you should be able to join this workspace so instead of creating we're going to say okay join workspace and by joining uh, what we are going to essentially going to either you can send the uh, workspace url to your to your to other users and ask them to join from there or or now we are going to say okay you can search for the workspace so search box here and on option to join the button so Join the option. So what we're saying is, uh, you can end, you can search for workspace, and define a list of option you want to search from is the workspaces. Field to search from is workspace name. So we're saying, if whenever user enter anything into this uh, search box, they're going to look for the workspace name from the workspace database. So and this one should be. So we're going to create a workflow here saying uh, make a changes to a thing. What thing? To a search box, search for workspace. So value. So whatever the workspace you will search for, it should update its value stating the current user should be added in that workspace. So what we're going to say workspace user add the current user. So whoever search for the workspace name add them into the workspace whenever they click on join button perfect so let's preview it again so if i search here workspace it's going to show me a drop down list here so now i'm going to log out and log in from different account so that to test this if i'm able to join and see all the element of that workspace so I'm going to log out and get started again this time i'm going to start with name let's just make name at name.com so right now this user doesn't have any workspace either you can create or but this time we are going to search for a workspace and join that so workspace number one 
I want to join this. Now I'm part of this workspace. And if I click on this workspace number one, it shows me the detail of workspace number one. So if I select this, it shows me the list of tasks which are part of this workspace now. Perfect.